I wanted to enlarge my own personal experience. I'm extremely passionate about growing my own food and knowing where it's coming from. We love, love gardening and we see it a great way to connect communities. I've always been interested in community gardens. I did a project at uni on them. And it's a good opportunity for people in the community to learn how to garden. I was really excited um, by the idea of having a community space in Port Macquarie where like-minded people who cared about the environment and about community came together. From a work perspective, um, there's a lot of councils that have been developing community gardens across the state and council hadn't really um, been even interested or really looking at community gardens and we'd been receiving some inquiries from the community to build a community garden. Uh, I suppose opening day was uh, one of the best attended that I've seen of a community event in Port Macquarie. The first plant that we put in was so exciting, I was jumping up and down for joy, I was so happy. The Seedlinks event, so that was before we even had this site. It was a rainy day, more rainy than this, and we still had so much support from the community and really was the first time, I guess, that I realised how good a thing this was going to be for Port Macquarie. Meeting some really good people. Probably the journey, as much as it's been, in some ways, there's been that frustration, but the journey to get to where we are and to see, you know, things starting to take shape. In the lead up to the launch, we had some really amazing working bees in terrible weather and so many people came and put a lot of effort and time in to get the garden looking like a community garden. I'm not sure if I would have done anything differently. The main thing that I would do differently, I guess, was have a site before or at the same time as you started engaging the communities. Probably the one thing that's probably could have been a bit better is the communication sort of on the ground, because I think people need to know what's going on. It was very frustrating to see the garden uh, construction delayed so much. I think that it's taken the process that it needed to take and that that was the journey we were on and I uh, don't think that there would have been much that we could have really done differently that would have altered that journey. Continuing, I suppose, to build a community, more community spirit. Just to see it expand and grow and absolutely involve more people from the community. An ever-evolving community space. But it's going to be around here for a very long time. And have lots of members and the whole community is involved in different ways. Continue to develop and grow and have um, lots and lots of different people in, engaged in it. I hope that the Lost Plot is going to be here for a very long time and involve um, not just people interested in gardening but, but a lot of people in the community and, and embrace those concepts of diversity and sharing and, um, and bring lots of joy to people's lives.